What's up guys, Bridget here, with a quick patch rundown for the upcoming new league Necropolis. We're getting tons of changes to early, mid, late and uber late game. Also I will talk about how these changes affecting us donkey beard users and I will break down the new league mechanic as well. In the Necropolis league you will meet Undertaker Orimor aka Filch from Harry Potter. You will need help to him purify the haunted monsters every area. You have option to make easier your way through the zone or make it harder for the battle reward. On the selection screen you will see which monsters, what ability has and what they also gaining because they haunt it. Also you can see how common the enemy types in the next zone making you choose one to increase the difficulty the common ones or just trying to get through fast as possible so you can move the modifiers to the less common monsters. Worth to mention here there are different tiers of modifiers that you can give to the monsters you can see numbers beside the mods the higher the number the higher will be the difficulty increase also the further you move in the acts or in the map tiers the number of monsters that are haunted is also increased i have a bad news for you you can't skip the league mechanic at all only move the modifiers for the less common monsters and that's it the mods will rotate every few minutes, so if you made harder your next zone, it will be easier after a few minutes. The resetting is not working here. They stated on the stream, so the zone resetting farming is also out of the window. For the maps, the league mechanic will not have this. They all fixed, and if you put your map in and click to open, you can skip anything. You have to run, or you know, just delete the map with opening a new one. My personal opinion on this one. This is bad. Because sometimes you just want to mapping without the league money. Also maybe you already think this will be annoying after a few map to deal with the UI for the monster select. Well, for the first time they adding Atlas Posse for the new league mechanics. And there is a new note that says haunted modifiers are applied randomly to box in your maps. So if you just want to blast maps in a big session without interrupting, there is an option for it. Now you already asking, okay then what is the reward for all of this difficulty increase? First, not all the haunted monsters are bad. Some will help you like the final monster pack will spawn the nameless seal allowing you to get a unique item from him just like in Affliction League. The more haunted monsters you defeat the zone, the more chance the good things show up in the next one. The second big reward system. There are some monsters with the modifier unresolved anguish. When you kill it there will be a button that you need to press and Filch or uh, I mean Undertaker will take care of the corpse and he will take it to the necropolis. You can travel to your necropolis and start burying them in a grave. Why? Because the league mechanic is a crafting mechanic that allows you you press select modifiers that you want on an item and you will create it. In the demo he selected movement speed, so the boots will have movement speed and I think the higher the score for the modifier, the higher tier will be appear. Also you burying more than one corpse and you can make your item more likely to be useful with the selected stats that you want. Also if you want, you can use the whole graveyard for one big crafting project. If you want, we can do a big deep dive on this part. Let me know in the comment section below. There are corpses that can give the least specific unique items, just like the belt and the javel they show us in the demo. You can even modify the outcome of the javel with stats it will give. They showed the life variant and they trying to make on life, but as you can see, the results is more likely just we would get if we trying by ourselves. You can trade all of your corpses with other players, so you can make good amount of profit if you know what is valuable. Another item item in the necropolis league that you can find are embers of all flame with this you can modify the monsters packs and its rewards for the next zone they showing us tattoos are back but only the common ones not the rare ones like the extra projectile or the maximum elemental resistance also if you remember with the prophecies you could get sometimes frogs will appear the next zone well they are back as well. The most exciting part for me in the new league is the endgame content update. In short, they will split up the loot table for normal and uber bosses. They are also removing the uber boss keystones from the Atlas tree. Now is the question. How are we fighting Agnes Uber bosses? Well, to access to Uber variant of these bosses, you need to complete a very hard maps for it and gather fragments and then you can fight Agnes Uber, Cirrus, Maven and so on. The maps that you get in these fragments are tier 17. Yes, you heard right, tier 17 maps to access the Uber Uber endgame content. Also the new maps, which is 5, contains new bosses and the maps have a specific mod pool that affecting the map and you can't modify it. So it will be very hard to make a build around. They say there will be a mod combination that will break a few builds. So I need to plan very carefully this league. But I hope you guys will be with me on this one. 
Every bus in these maps have a new moveset that you need to learn. Also, the map layout is similar to a few already existing mobs like Expedition or Heist. But I hope they rebalance these monsters and bosses because some of them is just so toxic towards the players. We will see. Also, I can't wait to see the whole map modifier pools and what to expect and what we can deal with it. How are you getting these maps? Well, that's a good question. Well, the voice tones now will grant chance to convert your tier 16 mobs to tier 17. 0.5% per voice stone. But there is a dismissing return. So if you dropped one, the next one will be have lower chance. And so on. On the tier 17 mobs, you can get tier 17 mobs. So the self-sustaining is out of window as well. Personally, I can't wait to try out the new maps. Also make beers for it. Pretty happy about the new endgame content. Little extra here. You can have now three different Atlas positive tree, so you don't have to switch around every time you want to experience something new. Before you reaching the end game, you still need to complete the acts, but they trying to make the leveling more fun. They adding legion, essence prison bosses, ritual to campaign, so you can spice up your leveling experience if you want to. With this change and with the new league mechanic, I feel we can safely say we will be over leveled by a lot in every zone. If you stopping by and completing the extra encounter or you know just run through the campaign and do this on maps the choice is yours there will be a few new transfigured gems as well the following gems will get a new version in this league ice shot insulate aritelli ballista tornado elemental hit kinetic blast poison concussion and lastly summon holy ready personally i'm very excited about the tornado gems because in the demo was super fast a maybe you can use as a signal target skill also we will getting a new super gem as well sacred wisp this super gem causes supported skills to create two attach wisps for duration this is only usable with vans and it works like mirage archer it will have a chance to copy your attacks which is really interesting and i have a few idea with this that i will share with you on this channel soon i just want to highlight a few things in the patch notes that may be affecting the already existing donkey beards also there is a tons of changes to the passive tree that's too much for this video i will do another video with it so we can deep dive what got changed first of all there is zero nerf to pathfinder and trickster ascendancy so both survived the first round little side note here i don't know why they didn't do anything about both ascendancy Pathfinder is dodging nerf patch to patch. I'm very surprised about this. Another note here. There are mandatory nerfs in the patch notes that related to flasks. Let's start with the big one. They remove the valiant modifier that provides reduced mana cost of skills during effect can no longer be unveiled or crafted on flasks. Yeah, that's pretty big. So we're losing tons of reduced mana cost because the Pathfinder 25% was increased by 110%. Depends how much flask effectiveness you had. Now you are already asking the question. Is all Pathfinder build is dead now? Well, after a very hard work, I spent one whole minute to think about the mana problems on the existing build and I fixed under 10 seconds. If you don't believe me, there is a clip for it. Let's watch that. Because maybe we can drop this too. I mean... Oh, wait! Bam! Bam! The other major nerf is the all elemental resistant Yurik effect mod on flasks. They reused from 40% to 20%, which is a lot in the first look, but on the second, it changed nothing for my beers. So yeah, I don't know why people outrage about this change. Another nerf, this is for the Javers. The Javers suffix modifier that grants 3 to 5% reduced mana cost can no longer roll. This is a bad one, and didn't use this mod any in my beers, so I don't see the problem with this one. <laughs> We have to highlight at this point, tattoos are back. Only the common ones, the rarer ones like life, suppression, extra projectile is not. Also the common ones getting a few changes. I will not read all of this, you will know anyway if I using in my beards, so this is for another time. If we want to talk about the skill gem change that are affecting us, that's only one skill gem and that's the penance brand of dissipation. The skill gem got not one, not two, but a free way of nerf. Activation time, damage, and now deal less damage with elements than in Affliction League. The skill is fine still? Well, this is a good question. I will test out as soon as possible and I will report back the results. But my first thought was, this is still fine and still strong. But of course, I need to test it and see how it's doing. I know everybody will ask me about Explosive Trap of Sharpner as a league starter. 
where the gem got buffed on the damage side, but they nerfed the main explosion radius also have the secondary explosion radius, so it's hard to tell how weird the gem work in maps or in bosses, but I think you can just invest Aurel for the build and it will be still fine, but of course I will need to test this one out as well. I have a little announcement. I got partnered with Twitch. So for this occasion, I will stream every day starting today on twitch.tv slash budget2. You can ask here questions about the beards, see how my beards is made and how they perform in real time or just want to say hi to me or you know you want to know what item will be expensive because of my beards. Yesterday I was streamed more than 12 hours and even we watched the live stream together with a few of you. It was so good experience. Also it was funny to see how you reacted for a few changes in the patch notes so if you want just listen to me theory craft the beers or just want to chat you can join with the link in the description and drop a follow it will help me a lot i hope you enjoyed this quick patch note rundown also i want to know your opinion on the changes did your beard get buffed or nerfed let me know and we will talk about it also i would like to say thank you for my patreons for supporting me thanks again guys thanks for watching i was Pidget. see you next time